Hey, 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 welcome back to the murder of Jennifer Clark, part 6. Our group of friends have already collected quite a lot of memories, but to be honest, at this point in the novel, I still had no clue who did it. It's hard when you can deduct what motive the killer could have had. What we do know is that Jennifer did something so despicable she avoided going to school for three days, even her friends said she effed up, it has something to do with her ex-boyfriend Ray, and his friends deemed it justified the girl ransack Jennifer's entire house. We need more clues. Let's follow the latest memory we saw guiding us into the basement. We got inside and put the basement window back up. So there should be two more people down there. It appears the memory does not carry on. We should still look around for clues. Any of those four boys could be the killer. Bennett and I cracked the door open to the next room. In it were two people sitting on a couch. Ah, there we go. We reunite. Oh hey, it's Corey and April. They don't appear to see us. It must be our stealth levels. Feeling better? Totally. Your backup worked wonders. Sweet. When we first started going out, I played a lot of dating sims to prepare for stuff like this. Any honorable man would come for the woman he loves. Hold on. You love me? Hey, the words are out there. Wait, sorry. Did I say that too soon? I didn't mean it. I don't love you. Dude! <laughs> I guess you just ruined the moment. Damn. I guess that's what you get for relying on dating sims too much. It's nothing like in real life. You love me? Oh, she just brushed over that last bit, so you got saved. <laughs> if someone else were here, it'd just be pretty embarrassing. Yeah! And guess who's behind you or next to you, I don't know, I don't see us in the room, I don't see where you guys are in the room. You should be on the couch, but I don't see you on the couch. Uh, anyway. We're here, bitches! God damn it! <laughs> How much did you see? Not much, we just arrived. Why do you ask? Did you two fuck on the couch? boy, Cory. No, I just uh, got a little scared. About this game? I feel that. Death being able to strike at any moment is brutal. Oh yeah, and she was totally not screaming out uh, at the raven dude outside. Totally not, no. It's not that. On the way here we were talking about Nightmare. And whether or not he's like, real? You've left me dazed. Did we not view his existence earlier? She means if he's like a ghost or something. This is the haunted Clark family mansion after all. And if what Nightmare said is true about the memories playing, then that description fits pretty well. It's true, Ben and I just saw some. There's also the time of mortlessness. Wait, mortlessness? Uh, right, I think that one just went over my head because I don't know what mortlessness ne means. Time of mortle- what? Oh, I'm not the only one, I suppose. The time of mortlessness. Wait, more- more- death- lessness- lessness? I'm onto something, but I don't know if it's right. Supposedly it's a holiday where spirits can roam free. Oh, is that a thing? Never heard of it. Huh. It happens from October 28th to November 3rd. Today's Halloween! So then there's a chance Nightmare is a spirit of some sort? I guess you were right, babe. Sorry. It's fine. I feel a lot better now we both agree on it. I'm more interested in why he wants us to solve this mystery so bad if it's just some cut ghosts. Well, we do have another thing to worry about. What's that? We're, uh, locked in. Oh yeah, crap, yeah, um, Tammy, uh, Andrew and Sophie, they mentioned it when we were in the garage, that's the same door, it was locked. The door at the top of the stairs locked as soon as he stepped in. But, uh, fear not, because we just got you an escape route. To the hose, through the window, out of the basement. He needs a combination to unlock it. I already see a basket shirt with a number on it. Maybe that's something? It'll most likely be on this floor. Just another reason for us to complete the game. Nice and positive. I'm liking Raditude, girl. I'm glad you're feeling better, April. Now hold on. You get that anxious over a disagreement? All couples argue, dude. Don't downplay her anxiety. It's cool, babe. I'm totally a bitch and I'm proud. <laughs> Yes! Love that energy! Love it! Oh, ok... 
Okay then. In that case, I'm a bitch too. Awesome! Nobody to know you fucking pussies. <laughs> you got it. Follow me, guys. It's in the laundry room. Here we go. Laundry room, man cave, color doors. I'll leave it on the table. Sweet! Now let's make it like a porn star and cream this bitch. Uh, don't... Don't take it too far, Maria. I wanna keep it somewhat okay for YouTube. Why do you have to make everything sexual? Because she's your girlfriend. You are now controlling Maria. Weren't we already the whole time? Oh well. So... Oh damn. That's funeral music right there. Uh, window. I don't want my this to get frostbite. I'll stay inside. Uh, washing machine, dryer. The dryer looks old. Uh, clothes baskets. A laundry basket on the floor. Hmm. Fire! Look closely. There's a key in the fireplace. Let's find something to put out the flames. We could use it. Hmm, so we need water! And we could find water in the washing machine. Uh, notes. Laundry room, man cave, colored doors. Checked it out. Next to the papers are some dirty magazines. Ha! <laughs> Made you look, Cory. I didn't look. I didn't even watch porn because it feels like I'm cheating on April. I can't tell if that's more adorable or moronic. Eh, couch. Have a seat, bandit. What appears to be troubling you today? Ah, we're doing a uh, therapy session reference here. There's this dragon boss fight I can't get past. Yes, depression does sometimes feel like a dragon boss fight. Not what I meant. <laughs> okay, so anything else? The chimney? I don't give a shit what any six-year-old says. Santa's fat ass can fit through a fucking chimney. Maria, someone has died. Yeah, Tammy, the poor girl. Maria's just trying to keep the spirit up. It just wasn't that effective. But I think I got everything in this room, so let's go to the next one. Uh, <laughs> 69. Okay, <laughs> give me the joke, Maria. Give me the joke. Nice. 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 Let's take it. Maria got a jersey! 69. I guess it was too obvious, so they didn't really make a joke, except, like, point it out. A poster for a middle school soccer team. It's dated back six years ago. The Tigers, 10-0 season. 10-0, alright, let me write that down. I guess Jennifer was on an undefeated soccer team in middle school. That must have been pretty good. Also, is there anything on... Can I use these? The nice jersey is gone now. Ah, come here, babe. Koi jokingly cried in April's arms. Even in a game of life or death, we act immature. I love it! <laughs> Me too. A rug. Hey, boyfriend! Do you remember when we rubbed our socks on a rug and had a shock fight? This reminds me, in elementary school we had this playground and on the playground you had like these weird plastic shapes that were filled with sand. I don't know, it was something to play on or play with. I don't exactly know what they were. They were just like volumes sticking out of the ground. But they were made of plastic, so if you had the right kind of clothes on and you, you rubbed those objects, you would get statically charged. And we actually started shocking each other. It was it was fun until I went to the teacher and zapped her and then, then they shut it down. <laughs> Oops. We should do that to fight Nightmare. I don't think that's a good idea. Milo, break character for a second. Hmm? Do you want to have a shock fight? Yes. Say yes. Say it. Maybe? Alright, that's it. Take off your shoes. We're all having a shock fight. <laughs> I was first. I'm already prepared. My, my shoes are already off. I only have my socks on. But nightmare. Shock fight! <laughs> we had a shock fight. Cory won. Fuck yeah! Cory, let's go! Quit howling, you clingy coyote! Maria! Thank you for that. No fucking problem. Okay, the interaction between these characters is kinda wholesome. And I know I'm repeating myself. Uh, what else do we have? A television? Anything here? If I'm not mistaken, there looks to be a note under the TV stand. 
Let me get it. I'm great at grabbing stuff. Ask Cory. <laughs> so all the girls are making the dirty jokes here. Hmm. I'm I'm used to uh, dudes making dirty jokes, not the girls. What's that supposed to mean? April bend over and tries to leave the slip. Must not look. You're her boyfriend. She wants you to look. No, she doesn't. Yeah, I do. Anyways, I don't think any of her hands could fit under there. Mine almost got stuck. Can we try moving the stand? I already tried pushing it. I think it's stuck to the ground. Guess we have to find something that can reach under there. Hmm. Still haven't seen anything that could. Uh, this. Good game out there, Cory. April, don't smack my ass in front of the others. <laughs> So you'd be okay with it if you weren't here? You know, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh yes, you would. Couch. Was the couch comfortable? Not really. I think I was sitting on something under the cushion. Well then, well, let's have a look what it was. Let me check. Wait, a bottle of water? That's from the kitchen. Maria got a water bottle. Uh, table. A uh, table. So, what's you guys' secret? Secrets? For your relationship! Every couple has a secret how to make it work so well. Psst, Milo, what's our secret? No one told me we're supposed to have one. What's your guys' secret? Isn't it obvious? I'm a total moron sexual. Uh, hurry! Makes sense. What about you, Cory? I hadn't received physical touch for 10 years before I met April. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to process what I just read here. Uh, is he sticking to the first girl that touched him? That'll do it, yeah. <laughs> they, it's like they were made for each other. Uh, uh otherwise, uh, what rooms do we have? Is this another room that we haven't been? To? Ah, but it's back. No, it's not here. We have to go. Well, it's locked. Let's work as a team and get it open. W what? We're gonna just break it? Can we go up the stairs? That's where Cory and I can in. It still needs a combination to get out. Hmm. Well, back to the washing room it is. Um. Oh, there we go, the washing machine. I didn't interact with it yet. It's a washing machine. From the looks of the thing, it could possibly still work. Weird. I thought that old piece of junk would be washed by now. Haha. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Cory and April proudly high fived. You two idiots deserve each other. <laughs> that they do. Also, can I interact with it and get some water at that out there too? Oh, of course, we had the water bottle. I. <sighs> Sorry for my short term memory loss. It happened again. Sorry. Oh, hey! I can use the water bottle! Send the burning flames back to hell where they belong! Uh, oh right, I have to interact with this. <laughs> Using the water bottle, I put out the fire. Not the first time I've got some wood wet. Am I right, Milo? She she did what now? Is this is this purely a joke or uh, is she confessing to something here? <laughs> You're not, but hush. Okay, they definitely did it. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> not even denying it. Alright, so what's the code or the key? The key, the key, the key, the key. There's a key in the fire. Alright, I can get the key now. Ow! Son of a fucking bitch! Yeah, it's probably still hot. That shit is fucking scorching! Well, duh, it was burning metal. We need to find a way to pick it up. I know, put a jersey over your hand and grab the key. Ah, nope. Still burning like a motherfucker. Try getting it wet in the washing machine. Where's the last water bottle to put out the fire? Is there any other way to get it wet? Yeah! There we go! It looks like we can use this. It'll help get the jersey wet. Sometime later! Maria got a wet jersey! Sweet! It's soaking! Now try grabbing the key! Hi, uh, no pressure here. Uh, use that. Alright, I've got it! Mary, you got the key to the bar! Oh, no, no, not a memory. 
Finally, we're in the house of a soon-to-be victim! What the juice? Don't say victim! That makes us sound like the bad guys! We're just doing a solo for a hallowed hearted homeboy, that's it! Homeboy? Just think of this as a favor for Ray. Not revenge on Jennifer like William says. Oh, you don't hate Jennifer? I... never said that. Anyways, this room is kinda bland. Let's get a nice room to destroy first. Hmm, I like your way of thinking. August and Simon disappeared. You aren't kidding. They looked so real. Who were those guys? The names are August and Simon. They came here to seek destruction in the name of revenge. They were with two other boys. The names were William and Ray. From their conversation and the other memories, it seemed Jennifer had some friends over. Oh! Ray also brought up a brother! William said he wasn't home, but you never know! You're, uh, really into this, huh? I like to think of all possibilities with a murder mystery like this. My main suspect is this August guy, though. That motherfucker probably got a full heart on thinking about revenge earlier. The creepy dude, huh? Hmm. I mean, at this point, it can pretty much still be every one of them. There's no way to be sure. Yet. My nipples get hard when I think about Corey. Uh, what? What the? Is that how that works? Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so innocent. So innocent. Anyway, we got a key. Uh, gotta get into that room then. What the hell? Why are there four doors? All differently colored. I could see a blue ball, a yellow ball. Maybe that's a hint? Uh, there's gotta be something to this. Blue, red, green, and yellow? Which one should we go through first? While asking this, April looked behind the bar. What are you doing behind there? Do we need to have an intervention? <laughs> no, I can't qu quit at any term. <laughs> hey, Cory, has anyone told you how fucking cute you are? You do like every day and it embarrasses me. Jokes aside, I think I found another note. Prepare those eardrums! I'll read it to you guys. Only one door is correct. Guess wrong and face consequences. Nightmare. Consequences? What the hell does that mean? We shouldn't test it. Perhaps there's a hint for us to seek. Let me think about it. A hint. Well, there is the blue and the yellow ball I told you about. But that. Hmm. I mean, there's the green. Like, so the red one? No, there's the bar stools. There's also the dart? Mm. No, let me interact with stuff here. When I was in my youth, I wore a bathing suit to my friend's house. Because he stated he obtained a pool table. Oh, well, that's a pun intended by the writers. But I'm pretty sure our uh, Milo character, aka Bandit, uh, took this very real. And a huge disappointment that was, probably. I was greatly disappointed when it was revealed to me. How about all of us go swimming once we're out of here? Sounds fun! Yeah, it kinda does. Uh, can I interact with the ball? No, okay. No problem. Uh, bar stool? Why the hell is there even a bar down here in the first place? This entire basement gives me sausage fest vibes. If there was one movie that I cringed to on dangerous levels, it was Sausage Party. Don't watch that movie alone in a room when someone else is outside your room and can hear you watch that movie. They will think pretty weird stuff about you. Uh, but anyway... You're saying this is for Jennifer's dad? I don't see who else it would be for. I mean, he is the alcoholic. Uh, darts? Hey, babe, wanna play strip darts? I suck at darts, I'd lose for sure! That's why she wants to play, dumbass. <laughs> I I've got to say, but these girls are way hornier than the dudes are. It is it is just like that. <laughs> oh my god, I had to interact with the pool cue. Damn! If only there were two staffs, Corey and I could have a joust. Is that what you two do at your dorm? Maybe. Cute. Let's take it. I tried to interact with it multiple times, but yeah, I think we could use that to get the thing under the TV stand. Maybe I got a pool cue stick. So now we should be able to do it, right? Anything here? Oh wait, let me. There we go. Let's try to reach it. And got 
it! Does it say which colored door is supposed to go through? Please tell me it does. It says... Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow? Those are the balls on the pool table. You've gotta be shitting me. Ah, this in whatever that word is. Sanitize smell sales strongly. Oh my god, wait, no, I, I need to try this, wait. Ah, this scintillatingly sanitized smell sales strongly. Sales strong? I have so many questions about this whole sentence. I'm, I'm tongue twisting on it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> You've got to forgive me for that one, mates. Did you really have to spray this room? Nobody deserves the hardships that too many jumps bring. I plan on dismantling this place without spreading them. Simple as that. But what if William gets mad? He's tricked as heck about this. You think I care about William's opinion? Him and I are still far from friends. This may have been his plan, but I'm only doing this for Ray. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was talking to Susie earlier. Susie? Is she one of Jennifer's friends? Correct. Her and I hang out sometimes. She told me that her, Tiana and Lynn have been getting bullied for still having Jennifer's bag. Good. They deserve it. Just for being a friend? That seems a bit harsh. I need them out of her prank tonight. They're not the ones that hurt Ray. Hmm? Is he changing his mind? Deal. Wait, he agrees with them. Thanks, Yogi. You're the best psychic a superhero could ask for. Let's just move on. Da 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 da! This way! That was weird. Mr. Creepy Jamaphobe got kinda emotional there. Yeah, he kinda, I don't know, got out of character. I'm more concerned about the note. It says yellow and blue. It's referring to the doors in the bar. How do you know which one to open if it says two colors? Let's go back. The hint proclaimed blue and yellow. I guess we have to go through that. Um, blue and yellow. Oh! If you mix it, it's green. If I know my colors, that is. Alright! I'm pretty sure it's green. Since we can only open one door, I assume it wasn't going to be either blue or yellow. But blue and yellow mixed together makes green! What do you guys think? Let's go, Maria, let's go! <claps> Fuck it, that's a yes. I took a deep breath and opened the green door, and seeing that you spoke to us about it means you're alive. Still alive. It was the right door. Good job. 624. Another code joins the game. Shiblast! Our heroes finally completed the first part of the deadly dominant deeds. They shall now travel onwards to the next floor of the mansion. Actually, the plan was for us to skip the first floor and go straight to the third. What the juice? Why? It's simple. We want to be done with this as quickly as possible. Because of this, William wanted us to skip the first floor after we're done with the basement and second floor. The greatly gloomy jam fighter contradicts himself as he suddenly cares about William's demands. How will Simon the Super call him out for it? By doing this super duper voice? It's not that. I just don't want to get caught. The security system automatically turns on at 12 a.m. With how uh, busy the parents are these days, both William and Ray don't think they'll turn it on before. Boring. Oh, Simon, you want to spend more time with me? How sweet. Uh, okay, fine, we'll do the original plan. So, Simon the Super becomes fairly flustered. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the security system? Were they talking about the one Nightmare is using on us? Possibly. It's not out of the question to believe they could afford a defense this strong. At that moment, I started to feel strange. Almost as if someone's trying to take control. Control? Uh, you okay? Uh, yeah, just a little lightheaded. I'll be fine though. Mama didn't raise a bitch. <laughs> she's downplaying it, but she's not fine. Hmm. Well, uh, we've got a code. Is that the goal we need to use to get out of here? I'll bet the number we saw is the combination out of here. Well, let's see a girl. So it was a uh, 624. 624. 
What a, what was up with the code? Well, not code, but what was up with the poster? Like, I had a feeling we needed the poster, but we didn't? Hmm. Oh well. It opened! Let's hear it for Maria! You don't seem content with yourself. May I provide you with words of motivation? It's not that. Just still feeling woozy. Not good. You're the second one. First it was Sophie and now it's gotta be you? It's probably from being in this basement for so long. Let's get the fuck out of here. And of course, the nightmare is back. Nightmare was standing in the middle of the lobby. He was facing away from us and instead staring at the door to the living room. Koi broke the petrified silence with a whisper. He hasn't seen us yet. Let's attack him from behind. I'm unsure about his actions. He's not doing anything. It could be a bait for us to do just that. We can't just stare at his ass all night. Then just go. Leave him be, because I'm pretty sure it is gonna be a trap. Let's at least do something. G guys Hmm? It's... It's getting worse. I'm... I'm... Uh, what? Maria! Shit! She passed out! Close the door! Okay, the raven definitely heard that. You're now controlling Corey. Lock the door! I'm trying to! My hands are sweaty because I'm nervous! What a bitch of a fuck! Okay, I got it! Are you alright? You bad? Are you? Not really. April gently pulled me into a hug. It always helps me when I'm nervous. Th thanks That's what I'm here for, boyfriend. <laughs> Not a bitch of a fuck, huh? I was panicking. I wasn't thinking about the order of my words. I can tell. Can you guys come down here already? Right, sorry, bandits. We walked down the stairs to the man cave. How is she? She's breathing. Just passed out. Let's stay here until she wakes up. I agree. You'd think I'd be the one that passes out from being scared. I don't believe that was the reason. She stated she was lightheaded before we encountered Nightmare. Either way, I'm glad she's okay. I wonder if she's dreaming of anything peaceful. Mmm, I don't think she is. I think she's uh, dreaming about memories. Aw, bandit. Yep, here we go again. Memories. Take that slip better, Susie. Sure thing, boss. I'm back! How'd it go? You might want to get a spotter because I'm about to relay some heavy stuff. It didn't go well, did it? My sunglasses and hat didn't do anything. If anything, they bullied me more. You poor thing. You shouldn't have expected them to work in the first place. You know, this could be the start of something kick-ass. Your redemption arc of learning how to fight and destroying them! Was it just your clothes? Or were they bullying you about Jennifer again? Oh, so she's the reason. Huh? Uh, no, of course not! It's just me being my weird self, you know? Don't feel bad, Jen. It's okay, Jason. I didn't know it's because of me. S sorry. Um, I'm gonna spend the night at Daniels' house. We're having a Halloween party too. I'll catch you guys later. He's a sweet kid. Ah, kinda. He's an okay brother, I suppose. <laughs> he really should get rid of the, the cool professor hat. <laughs> Can we focus on the project? Why are we even doing this? I thought it was supposed to be your day of snow stress. Because of how good it'll feel later when we're partying and don't have this weight on our shoulders. I kinda agree with Lynn. I don't wanna do this right now. You too? Projects are kind of a 12 a.m. the night it's due type of thing, not a Friday afternoon. But since we're here, let's just finish it today. Then how about we do my idea and do it later tonight? Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna be too tired to do it at night. We just got done with the day of school. The last thing we want to do is more work. Plus, it's kind of hot in here. I'm really hungry and... Cutting all these papers made my hands sore. Yeah, this night isn't going so well. Fine. Awesome! Shall we put this shit in the basement? 
Oh, right. Yeah, she doesn't like the basement. The basement bashing bitch strikes again. How about Jens's room? Sure. Works for me. Alright everyone, take whatever you are working with upstairs. Oh, hey, before we go, remember the thing you wanted to talk to your dad about? What? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I gotta ask my dad something. What is it? Yeah, what? Don't worry about it. I just asked Diana to remind me earlier. You guys can go now. She's being really vague here. Hey, Jennifer? Yeah? I know this night is for you to feel better and all, but... But what? You're not the victim in this situation. He is. Just remember that. What did she do? I wanna know! I want the juicy of the story. Ah, I can't wait to know what it is, and I don't want to be... <laughs> I don't want to be disappointed. I'm saying that as your friend, not to be mean. Anyway, sir, uh, see you up there. I mean, she does mean it well. You've got to have your friends who tell you the real deal, not friends that tell you what you want to hear. Uh, have I really been acting like the victim? S sort of then? I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't really give my opinion. I don't know enough to give an opinion. You're now controlling Jennifer. All right, we're here again. Do I have to check the bathroom? I don't need to use this. Racist dream was to be on an improv comedy show. <sighs> I'm a terrible person. What did she do? That's always told me to read this. I probably won't. Bailey, Olivia, Rachel! How are my girls doing? Ah, now they're silent. Just like I like my dolls. Silent. They're the only ones who get me. <laughs> uh, fridge? Hell no, I'm never drinking beer again. Or any alcohol for that matter. Not after what happened. Oh, yeah, your dad probably got angry. Uh, do out the clock. Still stuck at 2.20. When the hell is dad gonna fix this thing? Hmm, okay. To the hallway we go. Garage. Oh, dude's here. Oh, hey, Jen. You haven't left? Nope, I was looking for some tools. Daniel and I have a lot of cool stuff planned. Hey, so, Daniel does know about my situation, right? He is the only one who doesn't shit-talk me. Of course he doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm... I'm really sorry. Hey, don't cry. It's whatever. You know what they say, stuff like this builds character. I hope so. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'll be fine. I've got guts. I can fight through this. I'm gonna really head off now. Good luck. What a terrible night she's having here. Damn. <sighs> hey, Dad? Can I come out here for a second? Crap, I needed to go to the kitchen first. <clears throat> yes? I have a question. Well, it's more of a favor I need. Alright, sure. A favor I'd really appreciate you do for me. So, please? Quit stalling and say it. I don't have all day. S sorry. Damn. Impatient. Don't drink tonight. Huh? <clears throat> Why? Y you turn into an asshole when you drink. Excuse me? It's true. You always yell at mom for no reason. I'm not mean to you, am I? Oh, yes, you are. You are being pretty mean right now. But she was really direct as well. <laughs> not usually, but... And it won't affect your party. That's not the point. Look, just for tonight, I won't go anywhere near the kitchen bar or the mini fridge. Or in here. And now there's a trap door under the rug with a cooler. Ooh! I wanted to check the rug for hidden secrets under there, but I couldn't. And now we get the little hint. Wait, how do you know about that? I just do, okay? Now, please keep your promise. I'm gonna go to my room now. Okay, please go to the kitchen. Uh, oh, we're back here. Damn, I wanted to go to the kitchen. I missed some conversation, I believe. Maria! I'm so happy you're awake. Oh, 
How long have I been out? It's been a while. A lot has happened. Uh? Honestly, that was an understatement. Well, Maria was unconscious. Wait, what happened? Oh, all of that happened at the same time? Nightmare killed Tammy. We got news that Tammy was killed by Nightmare. Well, it's just that... Wait, we need to do something. Maria, this is more important. It'll be really quick. Help me lift up this rug. Why? I had a dream about this place. And I just need to test something. Trust me, it seemed like the dad was hiding something. We shouldn't go along with it. We have to tell her the news, but... I'm okay with doing this really quickly to stall. Hmm, but then we will find a secret. Bennett and April seem to feel the same way. Nobody wants to say such devastating news. I kind of get that, but I also think we should definitely first check on that trap door before talking about Oscar. Working together, we flipped over the rug. Sure enough, there was a trap door. I opened it slowly and carefully. And there it is, a trap door. Wait, what, a monitor? A monitor? No, there should be more. Even if the dad wasn't hiding beers, I thought it would be more than this. What are you talking about? The screen turned on before anyone could answer. Wait, what? No, it's Oscar! Is that? It's Oscar! What the fuck? How did this happen? Wasn't he with this group? Who cares? We have to find him! Right! He's probably on this floor! Wait, what on this floor? Uh, where? Where? We gotta find Oscar. Do you think Oscar is in here? It looked like a small and dark place. Wait, the washing machine! Hold on, that thing, is he that small to be in there? I think I found him, he's in here! Hurry, pull him out! Is he gonna be alive? Please let him be alive, otherwise Jeff is going to be devastated. I want to see Jeff and Oscar happen so ma so badly. So, when you opened the fridge, it was too late? N yeah. And Oscar too, huh? Oscar too? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, please no. Oh, poor Jeff. Oh, poor Oscar first, to be honest. I went downstairs to look for you three. When I came back, his body was laying outside the library. There was a lot of blood on his head. I immediately knew Nightmare got him. Then Marco, Veronica and Virgil called asking if I had him. I lied that he was with me, but I don't know why. Not only is he dead, but the others think nothing's wrong. I'm an idiot. He was lying to us? Why would he do that? Don't say that. It's a really traumatic experience. I passed out immediately after talking with the others. And when I woke up, Oscar was gone. Jeff. The walkie-talkie went off again. I don't want to answer it. I, I'll do it. But... Jeff grabbed the walkie-talkie. Uh, hello? J Jeff? C crap. More bad news. Corey paused for a reply, but nobody answered it. Judging by a shaky voice, we could tell it was about another death. There was a sense of dramatic irony. We didn't know it was Oscar's. Not wanting to hear it, Jeff put the walkie-talkie away. Poor Jeff. Hey, Jeff, why did you go finish your contraption? There still might be a chance we can kill him with it. No need. I finished it a while ago. Plus, I'd rather work on investigating. Well, Zack and Punch are still waiting, right? You should go help them. Uh, alright. Sure. I'll, uh, see you guys when I can. After a small pause, Jeff walked out. Ah! Uh, ah, dang it! Ah! Why? 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 God damn it! What was that about? His best friend he was in love with died. I wanted him to do an important activity to distract from that. R right. Speaking of which, how are you holding up about, you know, our friends? Oscar and Tammy? Specifically Tammy. I know you two are close. 
Yeah, she was like a sister to me. But we shouldn't discuss that. You know, I, I still have hope. I still have hope. Like, we didn't see any murdering happening. We just know that we found a body. But what if the body is fake? Huh? What if? Please? Please? But we shouldn't discuss that. It may sound bad, but we don't exactly have time to grieve. In situations like these, it's not worth focusing on the scary stuff. We should talk about the case instead. Oh, uh, alright. Have any idea who the culprit is? Not really. I've only seen a couple of memories. I don't know how you'd expect me to. Hmm. We've already seen a lot of memories, but there's still so many possible subs suspects. Nothing conclusive yet. Try something else about the case that's not so straightforward. How about we just talk about Jennifer then? What uh what do you what are your thoughts on her? Hmm. I'll say this. She's strange. How so? The memories I have of her show the weird side. I'd be lying by saying I wasn't curious about her. I want to know more about her. Stuff I don't know already. Yeah, uh, me too. It hasn't been long since you've seen her, but you wish you knew more. Right? Exactly. Weird, huh? Not at all. Uh, I feel the same way. Maybe we'd talk to her too. I'd do anything for that. Even if it was just one more time. One more... Yeah, no, I'm not doing this song. <laughs> Copyright stuff, you know. Uh, but one more time. Hmm. Oh, wait, the dream. That was... That's what she means. One more time? Uh, oh. Now I see. That... I couldn't handle it anymore. I went up to Edward and hugged him tightly. Hey, it's gonna be okay. He had me close with the protective grip. I got you, Soph. Uh, Edward? I d don't want to let go. No. Don't then. Hmm. Edward embraced me tightly as I cried into his chest. Dude, don't you have a girlfriend? Hmm? <laughs> and although he was comforting me, I could feel his grief too. So we comforted each other, never wanting to let go. This was a real sad part. I still can't believe Oscar actually died some time ago. But then you might wonder, how did his body end up in the basement? Corey and April were down there. They didn't see the raven. Maria and Milo, aka Bandit, were in the backyard and also didn't see the raven. There's some mystery here. And all will make sense in due time. So be sure to not miss out on the next chapter. I'll see you over there. Ciao!